there's a lot of guys out there who, who are losers, right? It's the same way there's a lot of women out there who are losers. Like, average people are kind of just losers, right? Yeah. And I think that if you have an average guy mm-hmm. who maybe doesn't have the income that would be able to provide for his woman or potential family, maybe he doesn't have, like, the physical fitness that he'd be able to protect her, and then he wants women to submit to him, like, it also wouldn't make sense for a woman, right, who's like, well, wh- how would I be able to, like, submit into this average dude if, like... If I stop working and I stay home and cook and clean, then we're fucking broke. Yeah. So I think this is the, the main path for the men need to take, right? They need to actually build themselves up so that yeah. for their own purposes, but that they so they could also be the provider, protector, whatever you yeah. would call it. And then at that point, I think you now have the liberty to sort through the females who don't buy into like the dynamic that you want in the relationship. That's the, the only thing I see is I see a lot of average guys now who are like hating on women for being like uh, modern and feminist, we could call it. Yeah. But it's like if you're not gonna provide for them, what do you expect them to do? Mm. Yeah, no, 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 understandable. I, I mean, you, yeah. I've always said you got to get your Pokemon badges up. Like, yeah. women aren't going to listen to you unless, you know, you have certain stats. Depending on who she is and what she does, mm. that means you have to rise up to that level, if not surpass her. You have to be better than your girl in all, all aspects. So I, my, But my thing is, women, a lot of the times, don't have the sexual market value to command the man that they think they deserve. That's what so I mean. So there's a little bit of, I guess, I, okay, if I'm saying- Women are fairly delusional when it comes yeah. to where they stand in the sexual marketplace versus what they command. Okay. There's like a huge disconnect. So like, so most girls are average, right? Just by virtue of being average, right? But the thing is, is that they all think that they deserve a well above average man. Yeah, the six feet. Yeah. Two hundred plus a year. Which the reality is like, year. nah, like yeah. you don't deserve that. You know what I mean? But a lot of girls think that they do. Well, if there's a supply and demand chart, yeah, obviously things yeah. need to uh, be in like- And I would argue yeah. a lot of them are like grossly unaware of the supply and demand. Like it, yeah. I, I can't tell you how many times I have to tell girls like, the more you go up in status with the man, the less leverage you have. But girls think that they still have the same leverage when they're dealing with a guy that's one percenter. So something that I will, I think, definitely contributes to this problem mm-hmm. is women thinking that a high value woman who earns a lot is super successful in their career is what men are after. I still think a lot of women think that. Yeah, a and, lot and, of them do. And if women want to do that, that's fine, right? If that's if that gives them happiness, and we could argue whether or not that gives them actual happiness. But if they think that's what they want, and they do it, great. But then the, the reality is that high value guys who are now have to be earning more than them, right? Because at the end of the day, they're still going to be like, well, I want a guy who earns more than me. Mm-hmm. That pool is small and yep. that pool is not necessarily attracted to a woman who's Absolutely. like super like, who's like the trying to be the alpha in the yep. relationship. Yep. But, the, but see, the thing is, is that like we can sit down and have this, this conversation and be like, yeah, that makes sense. Like supply and demand, blah, blah, blah. But so many girls lack critical thinking skills because- Feminism lies to them. It tells them you can go ahead and pursue a career. You can make a bunch of money. You can become successful. You and that's can basically what men want. Be, yeah, you could be the man that you want, and he's going to want you in return. And I can't tell you how many times we've interviewed, what, 2,200 women on our show now at this point? Dude, it's incredible to me how so many of them are unaware of we don't give a shit about that stuff. It's not until girls typically are older that they say, no, they're right. They're right. I chased a career. I have the money, and the men, now, don't, now they have men the don't give a shit. Yeah, it's not until they get older and they fail continuously that they realize like, maybe this was a lie. And we brought so many girls on that said that, but they're almost always past their prime. Too late. This too late. They went through the career path. They made a bunch of money. Um, they ostracized a bunch of men that wanted them. And a lot of girls, what happens is they become successful, et cetera. And then they outprice themselves out of the market. You want the biggest issue with modern dating today? It's not of men becoming women, so to speak, when we become men. That is an issue by itself. But it's merely because we don't understand what each party wants. And as a result... We go into it blindly saying, oh, you know what? I think they want this. In reality, they, they don't want none of, none, none, any of that. So it's kind of like at that point, each party has to understand what each party wants. A okay. funny moment actually is yeah. when he asks, do you even know what men want? And dude, it's, it's hilarious. They rattle off all the things that women want. Go-getter, successful, ambitious, got educated, smart, blah, blah, blah. Like they list every single thing that they want from a man, which is like, hilarious to me but that's how far gone so many modern day women are where they don't realize like no we want a girl we don't want another one of us but they think that that's attractive and then on the male side you could argue for guys who call it red pill aware for lack of a better term yeah they also that to to, to your point of like the biggest thing that's wrong with the dating market they maybe buy into like the uh the hollywood ingrained narrative if i just get really obsessed with a girl get like one itis for this girl like just Swear off other women, simp for her as she's hooking up with her.